Most intellects can assess your life in less than five minutes. Everything about you is an easy read, and it's up to you to determine if that's a good thing or a bad thing. The external observation of you can be drilled down into three categories. You're either a pathetic read, easy read, or a complex read. It's best to be a complex read, but this video will focus on why you are an easy read, and I'm going to tell you why. You should be a person of layers, many layers at that. That's what successful people are. They have many layers. But if you don't, you're an easy read. You are unlayered. You're very transparent. People can see right through you. You're not living to your full potential and it's noticeable. I'm going to tell you the reason why you are an easy read. And after I do that, what are you going to do about it? There are five things that intelligent people can pretty much assess about you to immediately determine things about you. The first one comes down to how you spend. Are you ever around people always trying to make a deal? Not cut a deal, but make one. Their behavior is petty. Are you that person that can't get that the cost is the cost? I bet you're the kind of person that argues with salespeople for one hour to save $5. Is that you? Even though you spent that in gas alone to get there. Time is a commodity, but you being an easy read, spend over four hours online looking for $20 off something, you know this is less than smart behavior, right? And because of it, you are often viewed as untrustworthy. Oh, but why on earth would people think of me as untrustworthy? Just because I'm trying to save money? Trust me, that is not trying to save money. That's you trying to make a deal and get a deal all the time. You spend those many hours for a few dollars. It gives off that you possibly have some underhanded ways about yourself. Look at the time you waste and the money that you waste. It means you're invested in the idea of being cheap. And this is why people can read you like a book. You give off sneaky vibes because you are willing to go through great lengths to save a dollar, a whole one dollar. Really? Really? On the contrary, those with long pockets understand that the cost is the cost. They value what the value is of something. And if they don't think the value is there, they don't run around like you do to make a deal. They just don't buy it. This is what it is. Argue with the wall. You may see and understand there's value in things because you desire them, but you're an easy read because you don't respect the idea of value itself. And you say you want to be successful. So having no concept of value makes you successful. You're a joke. There's no doubt that those who do understand and value value, they make sure they don't bring you around or expose you to valuable things. They'll keep it light with you. And that's about it. But when you finally decide to understand and respect the concept of value, that's when you can start thinking differently and begin valuing yourself. And when you value yourself, you become exposed to intrinsic value. So stop being an easy read. Think about how you spend your money. Is your next spend worth it? Is the juice worth the squeeze? There's another reason you're an easy read and that's your career. Yes, the job you chose to work at and do, but you complain about it every day. Not only did you search for the job, apply for the job, and wait a long time to go through the interview process and finally get hired, but as soon as you get the job, you realize you hate it. That's fine and all because you gave it a try. You gave it a chance, but you're not aligned to the work, nor do you like the work. You stuck it out. You gave it a year or two, yada, yada, yada. But you are transparent as a window. Instead of finding something else or even creating your own job, Yes, like starting a business or finding ways to make passive income by using your gifts and talents, you continue to go to work every day and do nothing to change your situation. Then you get off work and come home and get around people with all that negative energy on you from your work day. Your behavior is pure insanity. If you don't like it, change your situation. That's what sane people do. That is what smart people do. This is what people do that have very high EQs. They make the change, but you don't. Nobody wants to hear about your workday problems every single day. They don't want that negative energy. They don't want the negative vibes because you refuse to do something to improve and change your own situation. People easily see you as weak minded and a punk. Weak minded people like change management. Don't you know that people that know who they are, know what they need, know what they like, they make moves, they make the change. They don't stick around for the drama. They navigate to the next thing. They take initiative and they own their career. They don't play around with their job or occupation. Your weak minded self makes you afraid of change. And for that, you are whack. You are unlayered. You are very readable. And a lot of people don't like you because you refuse to do anything about your situation and they catch the brunt of it. A spirit of fear does not enter the minds of those who don't allow it. 
The next thing is your lifestyle, but you know that. Where there is no discipline, everything crumbles. Everything. Wise people understand the power of routine and commitment. You understand musical chairs. You play games while those that are self-disciplined experts carry out life strategy. People that are committed to being uncommitted to anything have missing scruples. If you can't do anything consistently for a period of time, most psychologists say at least for 21 days, you can just forget it. Are you really incapable of following through on simple daily tasks consistently? Is that the life you want to live? One with the missing plan of action? Of course, this is why you fail at everything in life. What a loser. Look at yourself. Losers live undisciplined lives. I don't even need to go down the list of how living an unruly and uncontrolled life ruins your health, destroys your finances, and ends your friendships and relationships. I don't need to tell you because you already know. You're already experiencing it. Anyone can look at you and see your inconsistencies. They pop out. To have no discipline, to not be able to have self-governance means you don't even love yourself. But that's on you and it's very visible. Your relationships make you readable. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know that you are the common denominator in every jacked up relationship you've ever been in. And I speak of all relationships, from boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, family, friends, acquaintances, whatever your common denominator is, whether it be you lack accountability, you are a liar, unfaithful, unloving, passive aggressive, take advantage of people, no matter what it is, you are readable because that little twisted spirit in you lives on the inside, but breathes on the outside. It's transparent through your eyes, your speech, your little tics, and all your nonverbals. Anyone that has a discerned eye can see right through you within the first five minutes. You are trifling. You've had these trifling ways about you for so long. They are uncoverable to the observant. You're foolish. Ever notice why people you meet don't fool with you? You never hear from them again, and that truly has everything to do with you and not them. That's why what's hidden in the dark, which is everything on the inside of you, comes to light, and that's everything on the outside of you. You're an easy, readable soul, and not in a good way. I hope you change that. And then it's your language. Your negative tongue precedes you. The disgusting and deplorable words that come out of your mouth means people read you a mile away. If your first five minutes of conversation, you can't say one nice thing about anything or anyone, not one, it says a lot about you. That mouth of yours is violent. I don't need to break this down for you. You have diarrhea of the mouth, not just a blabbing mouth, but an ugly one. Those with high spiritual IQs know that all power is held in one's tongue. People choose not to be around you because your lips are diabolical. They know that whatever weird and out of place thing you say to them in the first few minutes was probably your second or third time for the day. Your nasty, ineffective, fruitless tongue reveals who you are. It reveals your character. Clearly, this is your language. Clearly, your native tongue is disgusting. No one is oblivious that you make them your punchlines. This is why you are an easy read. Be gone. For more videos like this one, click on the pop-up video on your screen. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss a video where we live, learn, and create.